Good afternoon and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. How is everyone today? It's a big week. Well, as we all know everyone, what does that say behind us? Vote, Vote. tomorrow. Have you pre... what do they call it? Pre-voting? Um, Registered. Pre well, no, you got to. You can't did you vote, vote early? Before. No, I did not vote early. No. Okay. I will vote. In will the you go wait in line? Oh, really? Yes. Well, it's that or Mac. Right. <laughs> <laughs> can you pre vote here in Lexington? Can you go today as an example? I'm not sure. I should know that. But I, I have you changed, moved your. Yeah, but not in time to oh. vote. I know. I, annou I announced so that on vote air. In Florida? But I will tell you that the busiest day in the newsroom is election day, so yeah, we are right. gearing up. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I had to vote in Australia um, a few weeks ago, and my friend called me and she said, Darling, don't forget you've got to vote. Because in Australia, if you don't know, it's actually against the law not to vote. Really? Yeah. I didn't know and that. then if you don't vote, they bill you $150. Really? really? All right. And then if you don't pay that, they cancel your driver's license. <laughs> so they really do force you to go out and vote. So how many parties do you have over there? Um, we have, similar to you, we have Labor and Liberal. So it's Republican, Democrat. Yeah. Um, and we have the National Party. And then we have the Greens. So are you forced to register or can you be independent? Uh, well, hold on, what do you mean? Excuse like, me. Well, like here I you don't know can, what that means. It's kind of, and, and it was different actually for Kentucky because I did register, it just wasn't in time. Like in Florida, it was independent, was an actual box you can check. Here it was just other. So I don't know what that means, though. It Whether just means you're, you're not Democratic. Oh, no, 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 no. There's none of that. Okay, no, so you no. have to be in one of them. No, no, you don't have to say oh, you're okay. a liberal or... Oh, gosh, no. Gotcha. On the day, you go in and choose who you would like. No, there's no oh. allegiance to a party. Okay. Sorry. Oh, they make you do that here? Well, well you check either... Democrat or Republican really? or Independent. Well, you can do other as well. You can do other. Because there you can are vote other parties. Can I just tell you, I love the American elections because <laughs> it's so dramatic. Soon. And I will be glued to the television tomorrow night. Oh, we will be on all yeah. night long I can't as wait. the results come rolling in. I don't know. Anna, how do you feel about the election cycle? Do you like midterms? Do you like voting for a president? Where do you all sit? I'm not asking what parties you vote for. But do you like the drama of it all, or? I'm, I'm tired of the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't say that. I was going to say our station loves. A lot of money. They do make a lot of money, <laughs> but it becomes over. Yeah. Over to kill. Okay. I see it from such a different view. I mean, right from the thick of it. So, yeah. and, and and there's nothing crazier. I remember when I first became a reporter. One of the first things I covered was one of the presidential elections, and went to one of the party headquarters. Ooh, I, it reminded me of a tailgate, and I was kind of, it's just, it's strange to see that as a young right. kid just out of school, and it's more yeah. like a big party than something yeah. that you think is so serious, and then as time went on, went on and on, you know, you learn a little yeah. bit more, but it's shocking. I'd love, what, what, what part It shocking? was shocking that it was like a tailgate. Oh, right, okay. I mean, but I just yeah. like listening to all the commentary and what of they, course. who they think is going to win, and I just love Do it. So, oh, I love it. I love it. If it's well, I've educated. never seen anything like it in, a, in <laughs> Australia, the way you all do your politics here. I think it's very exciting. It's like a game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. All right, we're going to get on with the show, everyone. Uh, we've got to do a shout out since they're not moving up the teleprompter. Miss Dusty, our producer, is moving on. She's been with me now. How long, Dusty? Year and a half. She's sick of me. <laughs> She's over the broken legs. She's over the wheelchair. <laughs> what else has happened to you since you've been here? I've thrown her onto camera. You name it, I've done it. And she said, I'm out. That's <laughs> it. So good luck, my dear. We're going to miss Dusty. All righty, let's move on with the show. How smart are gorillas exactly? Now, this video may give you a hint. The Royal Burger Zoo in the Netherlands posted this clip where they placed a hidden camera in the gorilla enclosure. Now, the intelligent <laughs> apes figured out what it was. Okay, I'm looking at that. Um, and, it's, and in several points, it seems that they were trying to remove the device from the group. Do you think they were trying to move it, Okay, girls? do we really think that they know <laughs> this was a camera? They think it was something. It was, it was strange to them, so they were going to try oh, yeah. to <laughs> figure out what it was. I don't think they know it's a camera. Yeah, I'm not I think quite they're like, sure. what this? What yeah, this? Just like that? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I, I'm all about 
they're, they're very, very, very smart. But whether or not they have the capacity to know that's a camera taking pictures of them, eh, a little skeptical. I got you. <laughs> but they, it's obviously something they realize it's something different in their environment. I right? love it's them. Odd. Yeah, I they're so cool. Them. So oh my cool. Gosh. I love them. I would love to go where Ellen DeGeneres just went to. And who was the lady that saved the gorilla? Was trying to save the gorillas back in the day? Oh gosh! And you know, gorillas in the mist. The yes. movie. Yes. And I've forgotten the name of the gal. So have I. Um, and the name of the movie, but love gorillas her. in the mist. Gorillas in the mist. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, but the um, anyway, tell us what you, what it is. Text us, Facebook. You know, I've got all our details. I can't remember off the top of my head. All righty. Well, you let's told move me on the name of the title of the movie. And I, I know, but I can't. It. It's Monday. Who? That's it, Jane. Yes. Jane Goodall, thank you so much. All righty then. Having pearly white teeth is so yesterday, apparently. The company Chrome has created a tooth polish, and it's just like nail polish, but for your teeth. Don't worry, this is safe to put in your mouth and was created by dentists. There are 10 colors available in pink, baby blue, mint. Oh, the, all the colors are there. Candy floss. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fairy dust. It's disgusting. I mean, hey, if you want to do it, do it. <laughs> I told you the day that I used to put liquid paper, or what do you call it, white out? White out? On, on your teeth? teeth to yes. make it whiter. I was probably 11 <laughs> of 12. Awful. Taste it terrible. Do you know what I'm I mean? Sure. That's awful. Um, who knows? Um, I mean, it's that not is permanent, insane. So Tell us whether you would go out and do that. I know. People I had grills would. for a while. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you mean for a while? I still see people with Silver. grills. Do you? Yeah. Hey, but they had the kind that you could take out. So I'm going to call my brother out in the high school. Not he had come out? <laughs> and he scared yeah. my mom. Huh. Like she came home one day and, and I had a meltdown and then he took it out. But. That's hilarious. Alrighty. A school in upstate New York is using facial recognition technology to help spot a possible school shooter or escaped felon on their campus. The program is in the high, middle and elementary schools and it matches their faces to the school's database. This way the system can alert school officials in some way, if someone is in there that shouldn't be there to begin with. The school district received four million bucks through a state grant to install it. The controversial move um, received backlash from privacy advocates and parents. Miss Sicily, let it go. What do you think? I think it's amazing. Do you? I do. I think that the technology is there. We might as well utilize it. Really? I'm, I feel a little uncomfortable. Do you? Yeah. Because it's too invasive? I just think it's a, it, it is invasive. I, I know you have, um, we have now in two schools in Kentucky, or Lexington, I believe, that they have the, the ga, um, um, metal, metal detectors. detectors. Thank you, metal detectors. Which was controversial. Some people didn't want them in there. Really? Yeah. That, to me, I appreciate more than the, the what is your scanning. concern with this i mean well, what I don't do you know. think well, they'll who's, do who's operating those videos where do those videos go is it is it secure yeah you know who knows you see all these people who get control of video recordings and do things that they shouldn't be doing and it is in middle school everyone but what do you think that they're going to do with it i guess that's my put it on the web just their faces well, i don't think it's just that it's throughout the whole school right right so who knows what kids get up to. Well, we could I just say think that. Th I don't think it's a great thing for the kids. And I, I understand that. We you can know, say that Do with I need to say it on air? Well, no. Because <laughs> yeah. We, we could say that with any gist? kind of video surveillance. Yes, I agree, but this is in your school, your kids' school. Right. But d So you have a problem more with the cameras in general yeah. than the actual facial recognition. Mm. I'm concerned okay. with safety. If my child is going to be safe. With the cameras or without? What are you saying? You're for the cameras. I'm for the cameras. Interesting. When you say safety, in what way? Safety, because if something were to happen, then they're going to be able to have that facial recognition in order to, to go back and trace the individual that was suspected. But it's already thing. happened if the, if the person's Correct. in there. But sometimes they can't prove that they it is. Prove. So here, there's no doubt uh, that that I is right. what happened. We're even on, because they have uh, surveillance cameras on a lot of buses mm -hmm. right now. You can't always see what went down because it's right at the front of the bus. Right. You can't see what's going on back in the seats and all that kind of stuff. So if they have something that maybe can zoom right in on, I don't know how the technology works, then maybe they can actually say, no, this person okay. did it. All right. right. Well, it's a good point. 
Tell us what you think. We've put this up on our Facebook page. Alrighty, do you have what we call dead butt syndrome? Yes, <laughs> it's a real thing, everyone. It happens when your gluteus medius, oh, what did I say that right? Gluteus medius. Gluteus medius, medius good-o, um, <laughs> gets inflamed and forgets to function normally. <laughs> this can especially happen if you have a job where you sit at your desk all day because it restricts blood flow to your backside. <laughs> Alrighty, you'll know if you have it because sometimes you feel in that area the same sensation as having a limb fall asleep. There are some things you can do to fight dead butt syndrome. What's the first one, Cicely? Well, the first one, for every one hour of sitting, walk for about 10 minutes. Okay, I got you. Madam? Stretch before and after you exercise. All right. <laughs> clench, clench your clench. butt muscles throughout the that. day is the next one. Do you do that? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm doing it right now. Oh, are you? Yes. Yeah, Isn't that called something it's else? It's very though? subtle. <laughs> What's move. another thing that women do to exercise? Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> Kegels. Kegels. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, people. What's the next one? Way Cicely? to switch the <laughs> simple exercises. Do you like wide how stance, jump squats, and side lunges? I don't know Hold if on, you want to do that again. Do simple exercises like what? Well, okay. I don't know if you do those at work. Jump squats <laughs> and side lunges. Okay. I don't know about that, but I will say to you, um, I do have a problem with this because I do sit for a lot of the day. Does your Does your bum start to tingle? Well, I know my knee gets a little sore by sitting like this as an example under the desk, but I've ordered one of those stand-up desks. Oh, I love those. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Where you can and adjust I think, it. Yeah. I want one so bad. Yeah. How'd you get that? Never you mind. And they have it on treadmills. That's what I would really like. Because yeah, then I, you can listen, do 90 things I can't once. type and walk. Oh, I'm I so have tried, I don't down. know about you, Cicely. I've tried to take a book to the gym and read on the Oh, I have walk. to. It doesn't work. I, it doesn't. I've just no, got to see, stick to I my do. music. Hey, have you all been using those new Apple? I oh know it's probably been around for a while. The Apple Music, you get three months free trial. Yes. And okay, can you show me how to use it on my phone? I will. Because I've downloaded it like three times. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Yeah, it's free music, but we're so, ten bucks a month we're or so, something. We're uh, so so up and well, up. Well, I just don't use it. No, it's just me not neither. my thing. It's worth it. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's well worth it. Okay. Thank you for that. You're Coming welcome. up, everyone, Ryan Sinclair will be playing for us throughout the whole show. Back in a moment. Don't forget. Vote tomorrow, everyone.